so today on project shop we have this coil of aluminum wire and i want to see if it's actually worth stripping because the last couple times i got a quote for aluminum insulated wire it was way higher than it used to be it always was like 25 30 cents a pound last time i called and got pricing it was like 40 cents a pound they told me so i've never sold it with the insulation on it because i've always stripped it it was always worth it because i get like 75 or almost 80 cents a pound 79 i wrote it down as 77 pounds because of this and at 77 pounds at 40 cents a pound we're talking about this is worth 30 bucks if i do nothing to it so out of 77 pounds i wonder how much actual aluminum is in there now this isn't the thickest stuff normally i got a bunch more over here too and we're just going to do a little quick video like normally i get some thicker stuff like this which is usually worth stripping and i did do a video a while back but those were on some old prices and somewhere in the video i messed up and moved the decimal point or something i had a number like my dyslexia kicked in and the internet let me know right away so we want to revisit this see if this is actually worth stripping now when i did the romex i did little bits like two pounds um we're just going to go ahead and strip all of this and uh see what we get on the back side if we lost money made money we broke even if it was worth it All right, first thing we're gonna do is make this easier to strip. Some people think it's easier to just run long lengths, but I'm telling you, you're stripping by yourself, or if uh, even if you just have one person on the back side, you don't want lengths more than like 10 feet, man. That jaw is no joke to be wielding around with a bad arm. Uh, the things, the things we do for money. All right, now we might, we are kind of loose on the tension. Send a couple pieces through. Did 
strip it. But we got to peel the case off. It's not stripping it in one pass. So we want to crank down on the back side. To get this machine dialed in, man, there's, there's nothing like it.
Okay, this machine made absolute light work of this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a time lapse on and clean this up. That's not very exciting. We'll, uh, we'll find a drum here, put a tear weight on it, and then uh, see if it was actually worth it. Okay, here we go. We got that stripped. 73.72. Uh, minus 29. Now. So that was uh, 44 pounds. I believe I get 75 cents a pound. For 33.75. So there's a difference of $3.75 stripping that. And I'm just going to say that was absolutely not worth it. And we will not be stripping the rest of this aluminum wire. I will pull out that clean stuff and throw it in with that bin. But the rest of the stuff we're just going to pack up. And I actually want to see if they're actually going to pay me 40 cents because I've been getting prices on aluminum wire for years. And even the last video I did, I'm pretty sure the price has consistently been 25 cents a pound for the insulated wire which would have only been, uh, I did the math at 25 cents, it would have been like 19 bucks. So we would have gained, um, you know, 14, 15 bucks stripping it, which maybe would have been worth it. I mean, it literally took me, I actually stopped a few times because I was filming a, uh, another video, but literally as fast as I fed that in, it stripped it. I mean, it didn't even take me 10 minutes to strip that wire. It probably took me 10 minutes to clean that up, put it in this drum and uh clean up the wire and whatnot uh but this stuff here we're gonna sell off we'll find out tomorrow morning if we're actually gonna get uh 40 cents a pound for that aluminum wire or if it's 25 cents because if it's 25 cents it's almost worth it and it, and to me it's always been worth it to strip it but very rarely do i get thinner stuff like this most of the time it's thicker stuff like that which has always been worth it but we'll just have to wait until tomorrow and see what happens okay i sold off that wire and we got an update okay my original thoughts were right i'm only getting 25 cents a pound for the aluminum wire that's the way it's been for years i don't know why they told me 40 i think it was either a miscommunication on my end or their end i think i heard them wrong or i told them the wrong thing i don't know but it was 25 cents a pound so instead of 30 dollars it was 1925 and then i got 85 cents a pound for the clean of wire so that was 3740 for a difference of 1850 that we made in probably took me 10 minutes to strip that that's with cutting it and then 10 minutes to clean it up so that's not the best per hour but at those numbers uh gaining 18 dollars for that little bit of wire i probably would have stripped the rest of that aluminum even though i buy it cheap enough i think i paid 10 cents a pound for that stuff i know it's not worth much so is aluminum wire worth stripping i don't know that's kind of up to you if you don't have a really fast machine like that um i don't know if you got nothing to do yeah i guess so uh, I would have stripped that whole pile if I would have known correctly the numbers, but it was the weekend. I couldn't call for a price. But copper's up. Aluminum's up. So hopefully work will start coming up because it's been dead slow lately. I've been milling around here in the shop doing a bunch of micro scrapping. Made a good dent the other day. And I actually was in here this morning before I went to the scrap yard. And like an idiot, I deleted the footage accidentally. Ain't the first time that's happened. Probably not going to be the last time. I broke down all of those things. It actually took me... I, I said I could probably do that in an hour by myself. It took me like an hour and 20 minutes. But I was... Um, I did have a couple interruptions. And I was filming. <laughs> uh, which I then went and proceeded to delete the footage. 
my bad. Uh, but I had some really good footage of me cleaning a bunch of um, huge uh, fuses. I found a really good way. Uh, someone had asked me in a comment uh, how what's the best way I find to clean the fuses. And uh, it's the jaw. Uh, this thing's a beast. I actually found a really good way of not only cutting the ends down, but the the ends, some of them are metal, some of them are copper. I found a really good way of uh, getting them off. The jaw worked amazing for that. You could use the same system that I did with a pair of uh, cable cutters, okay? And I believe somewhere around here, I, I'm i gonna have some more fuses, I'm pretty sure. And then I'll show you guys. I feel bad that I deleted all that footage. But we got lots more things to film. I got a lot of work coming up this week. Might even have a job in Tampa. So if you come this far, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We have more micro scrapping to do. And we got one more bin to get to. Hopefully soon here we'll be able to pull a trailer or truck right in the shop. And actually utilize this space for other than storing scrap because i don't think this scrap made me money just sitting here probably just took up space and caused me a lot of uh energy moving it in and out of the shop a bunch of times so we're gonna clean it all out of here <laughs> the only downside to that is if i ain't got no scrap in here it's like i ain't got no money in the bank if that makes sense anyway we'll see you on the next one I'll tell you where we're going, right to the scrap yard. Come on, baby. Oh, kind of weak, but she started up. So we'll let her warm up a little bit. She's out of fuel. That's like a standard operating procedure for a supercharged V8. 